Guys, we are about to head out to the airport. Today is super exciting. We're heading back to Yala. I know you guys have been wondering about the progress. The team and I are about to hop in the van, head to the airport and fly over there and I'll see you on the other side. Y'all, when I tell you fine urban construction and interiors is dedicated, they're so dedicated. It's been a long, luxurious, but also very bumpy ride. These parts of Kenya have been raining, so the path getting to this property is just insane and bumpy, but thank God we have made it and I can take you guys through another excellent tour. It's been a while since I've been here. You can see there's been a lot of changes and the best place to start as always is at the entrance. This is truly the definition of a grand entrance. Honestly, when I'm standing there, I feel like I'm about to enter a palace. It's so magnificent. And if you guys remember, these were initially cylindrical, but we changed it and you might be wondering why. This is another place where you can see how clever design is when it comes to working with fine urban construction and interiors. We thought of changing up the shape because it just didn't suit. These are some tall columns, so it's better suited to have something that feels more square. And again, tell me what this reminds you of. For me, it's giving off Roman vibes. It's making me feel like we're at a Colosseum or something like that. It's so grand, it's fantastic. These do a lot of work, but they wouldn't look as great if they were not supported by other features of molding. Like you can see on all the windows. Now, the next thing, of course, we cannot ignore are these fantastic stairs. This entrance has actually been extended because again, I'll say this, it's supposed to be a grand entrance. This is not a small house. This is someone's retirement home. It's supposed to be somewhere that they live for a very long time. Their family visits, their grand grandkids also visit. So we wanted it to always be an experience every single time that they come to visit the house. So when you have an entrance like this, you truly feel like you are entering into a space that is so great. So we extended it out. It feels bigger, gives a bigger impression. And that was the exact goal of extending it. Now, come with me. Let's join me over on this side. Over here, we have these three holes. We have similar holes on the other side. Of course, symmetry balance is also very important. So all these things need to be balanced out. I want you guys to guess, what do you think we're intending to do with these holes on either side of the house? The best comment, we'll see what kind of price we'll come up with, but I want you guys to give me your best guesses. What do you think will be put into these spaces? Now, let's go up these stairs. We cannot ignore that it's not an ordinary set of stairs. They're not just straight across. We've gone with a very precise shape. It's very geometrical and it plays in well because if you notice, all the edges are kind of uh, sharp, on the 
when you're looking at the pillar, when you're looking at all the molding. So it really works well when you have all these edges and it's so easy to walk up these steps. This is quite a big entryway. We're almost done with uh, creating the door, so you guys will be able to see that if you keep following the progress. Let's get into it, the foyer. So actually, before we go any further and look at all the beautiful pieces and how great the house is, we actually have to talk about the people who will be living here. How did they come across us? How have we been working with them? And it's really a great story because this is one of our diaspora clients. You know, fine urban interiors, we work with people who are not necessarily in Kenya. Kenyans who are not in Kenya, so they're able to really trust us with their projects. This has been quite interesting because we didn't meet them. We didn't meet them from the get-go. They just came across our work, decided that they trusted us enough to work with, gave us the project. We started working on it and we're still going. It's been months. They didn't even come because they fully trusted that we were going to deliver what they wanted. Of course, we kept communication, kept, gave them progress reports just so that they feel confident with every step that we're taking. There was a lot of back and forth in terms of you know, giving suggestions, listening to what they want and finding the best way to balance the those two things. What made this so great is that it was a collaboration. We did not feel like our hands were tied. We felt like we were in a position to talk to the client and be like, we know you want a pool. We know you want it at the back of the house, but we recommend that it's at the front of the house. I'll elaborate more on that as we go through the project, but it's been fantastic. They actually just recently had a chance to come by, see the project, and they were over the moon. And that is exactly why you can fully trust fine oven construction and interiors no matter where you are. So let's go on with the tour. So we're in the foyer. There's not been a lot of changes, but, but this is where I'm going to take a chance to tell you that you will really notice the changes only if you've been here following this journey since day one. So go back and watch the videos that I've done for this property before so you can see all the structural changes, the adjustments that I've talked about because this house had a lot of crooked walls. So we did shift quite a number of things here, but at the moment, it doesn't look like there's much going on. For now, I'll just point out, you can see the gypsum is in the making. It's not quite there yet, but those are things that are so promising because it means you can see the speed at which the, uh, the project is going at and it's going to be amazing, I guarantee it. I am so confident that the gypsum is going to be incredible. We can now head over into the living area. So this is the living area, and immediately I am struck by how transformed it is. If you guys remember, we had a large door and a large window up there, and you know, it poured in a lot of light and might have looked like, oh yeah, that's great, but it really did limit us in a lot of sense, because I did talk about, oh, where are we gonna have the TV wall? What is going to be the layout? It really did limit us in that way. So after having a chat with a client and explaining the thought process and how we're we're going to give them another entrance because if you're going to close off one area that the client feels that is very useful to them you need to give them another option so we close this off and I'll be showing you where we move that other entrance and why we thought that was the best fit so for this room now that we've closed up that wall we still have some very large windows that bring in a lot of natural light so we did not sacrifice on that end at all so now we have an opportunity a very big opportunity. And this is where I'm going to ask you guys yet another question. You've been watching us. You know the type of work we like to do on walls so that they're not super bare. We have this whole space in the middle of these windows all the way to the top. Tell us, what will it be? Will it be a broken mirror design? Will it be wall hangings? Will there be an interesting gypsum design? Really, it's up to you. Let us know in the comments, what do you guys think is gonna be here? I wanna see who's gonna have the best guess. Once we do the reveal, you guys will have the answers. So now we have this entire space. We have a gorgeous staircase that I'm going to go so in depth about because that is incredible. It's amazing. But anyway, here we have a space. We can have the TV wall over there. And this is just enough space to have two three-seaters and one two-seater, accommodating so many people. Over here, right in front of me, I am looking at a 
lounge area. So this will be really truly the space where people who are intentionally wanting to watch TV, like that's what you want to do. I have a show that I've been waiting for that I really want to watch. This is the room where you'd come in. So it's going to be a bit more mellow, a bit more chill. We're not going to be too fussy. We'll have the TV wall over there and have one two-seater over here, one seat there and another one there. So it's super chill because this is where you'll come to chill and watch your show when you don't necessarily want to be in the more social area where people maybe want to chat and talk more than they want to watch TV. So let's start with the kitchen area. This is where the kitchen is. I have talked extensively about all the work we've done in here, what our vision is for the space. You can see up the gypsum has already been put up. And one thing I really want you guys to see is not only the fact that it's incredible. I love a nice, simple, streamlined, classic gypsum design, which fine urban construction and interiors just happens to excel in doing. So it just makes my job that much greater because I genuinely enjoy talking about these things because for me, in my house, definitely that is the type of design I would go for. But I also want to talk about the functionality. I tend to really just go in terms of embellishment. Oh, it's great, it's beautiful, the lights are great. But another issue that we deal with when it comes to gypsum and throughout all our projects, sometimes you come across a ceiling that's too low. And if you've ever been to a place that has a low ceiling, you know how claustrophobic that can start to feel and just feel super uncomfortable so that is something i want you guys to really pick up on in all the gypsum design so this is the kitchen of course we're going to do all the wonderful fittings for the kitchen all the cabinetry and i want you guys to keep following this project because that will be the next thing that we'll be doing the next time i come here this will be completely transformed and that's why i always love reminding you guys to go back watch our videos so that you're really on this journey so you can truly appreciate all the details now over to this side, we did quite a few changes. So what we're going to do for this section is kind of close off this area. We have a pantry here. We have a pantry, of course, this is dedicated for the kitchen. So we're going to close off this area and kind of make it more private because once you come all this way, this is going to be the bar lounge area. I know, I know if you've been watching any of the videos for this property, I did say that we're going to have the bar lounge area up top and we're gonna have the staircase and it was going to be a whole thing. But this is another product of conversing with our client. This is another house where we really were like, those views are not going to waste. So we are going to create as many opportunities to enjoy the natural light, nature around, the fresh air. So you'll see multiple spaces, outdoor areas that we've created specially for that, for that purpose. So over here, we have a section that we have extended out. So what this area does is create those opportunities that I was talking about. Personally, I have someone in mind that I know would really, really enjoy this. My father is the type of man who does enjoy having a cold beer or on a nice hot afternoon. So this would definitely be the type of space that he would enjoy. And I'm so sure our client is going to be enjoying it just as much, coming out here with the boys, enjoying a nice cold beer away from everything. And of course, we cannot forget about the women and children. This space is not just going to be enjoyed by men. So let's go and I'll show you what other spaces we've created, not only just for the women and children, but where everyone can come together. So let's head over to the dining and I can tell you more about that. We are back in the dining room and I know right now things feel a bit too open, but of course I've said it's a work in progress. There's so many plans that it's going to be so obvious where the dining room begins and where the kitchen ends. It's not going to be confusing at all. So once we have all those fittings, it will be so easy to distinguish the two spaces. So when we were in the living room, I talked about closing off that entryway and where did we take it and what did we do with it? We thought the perfect place to do that to put that entryway is right here because obviously that was something the client felt like was really valuable on the property and they wanted another section. So we have a very nice space in here. This is a dining room that could fit quite a number of people. So where I'm walking towards is the exterior 
dining area. So we've extended again like we did for the other section to create that opportunity to enjoy this backyard, which is going to be a very lush area. I'll tell you more about that in a moment. But here we have an extension of the dining room. So if ever the family just wants to chill outside, have their meal outside, it's not too far away. It's too, not too much of a fuss where it's like, okay, we want to go have dinner outside, but they've put our outside dining area at the opposite end of the house. So we have to carry everything to the kitchen and head all the way over there. It's really very close. It's such a streamlined movement from the kitchen to the dining to the exterior. It's so easy. So definitely, again, the client is going to definitely want to use up, not, not use up, to use this space. We want to create spaces where the client will actually use, not just things to say, oh, Fine Urban Construction and Interiors came here and did something, but what was the purpose for? We have to make sure that the client really enjoys it. But of course, it's an open area. We do want to create a, a covering for the top so it's not too open. We are going to find very creative ways. We all know we like working with glass and aluminum for things like our, think of our gazebos. We tend to do glass and aluminum. Here we're thinking of having a pergola, so it's really just going to feel extra and luxurious. And that is the theme. We want grandeur, we want luxury, we want premium everything. So every one of these outside spaces is going to have a unique touch to them. And the most unique thing about this space is because it extends. Yet again, we have yet another extension. So this is right outside the living room area. You can see the openings that we were looking at from the inside. We have this area here and you might be wondering, okay, what's that for? You guys seem to be doing the most. Why do you need all these spaces? This is this big for a very good reason. I will keep saying this, this is not a house for two people or three people. Maybe two or three people will be living in the house, but our client is someone who does have a big family, has a lot of friends, and when you build a property like this is to create those spaces for the people you love and the people you enjoy having around to come and comfortably enjoy your environment. So that was the purpose. This is another dining area, but it's going to have a totally different vibe. It's going to be able to accommodate 18 seats that was intentional 18 seats and that's why it's so massive and there's just enough space to do that and the thing I love honestly the thing I love the most about this space is the fact that we were able to include an actual wood burning fireplace Jesus Christ if you guys know what that adds to a space and the fact that we're able to have it in the exterior is just wonderful it's going to feel so warm so welcoming so calming and that's the exact purpose and of course we have to make sure that whatever they're looking out at also evokes that feeling of calm and joy and peace and that's what we want to do so right now again doesn't really look like much going on this is a site that is in progress so you guys need to keep that in mind and just work with me here I'm trying to create an image and I hope you guys are getting it so over here I'll tell you this ground was not leveled it was not leveled at all and we knew that that's something we had to do I had mentioned that we were going to have the pool back here but after discussing with the client it was decided that it would be so much better to have it at the front I'll be showing that later on in the video but after we decided to move the pool now we have all this extra room why why didn't we have to have uh, want to have the pool in the backyard I want you guys to actually tell me would you have your pool in the front or in the backyard because personally for me I genuinely think I would like to have my pool in the backyard it feels a bit more private but for this project it absolutely makes sense to me what the vision is we want to create uh, spaces where people can come Come and feel like they're in a community so of course you have to have a space where kids can play and their parents can look on as they're enjoying the time that they're having here so we're leveling out this space and we're going to have this entire area where kids can be running around and joyfully playing and their parents can be right there keeping an eye on them because if you have any kids or nieces or nephews and you've ever been to any family gatherings you know how important proximity can be because kids can get up to no good if you can't see them but if you can keep your eye on them it's such a great idea so that's exactly what we have planned for this and that's why it's such a perfect idea to have the pool in the front yard because we have more than enough space
there is one major piece on this property that everyone is going to interact with and it's something that everyone will see straight from the entryway and of course it is this magnificent staircase i it's it's breathtaking i don't even know how i'm going to start talking about it because it has genuinely been a labor of love it's been so much work put into it and it's another great example of collaboration between our lead designer Mr. Cleophas Nyagaka who took the time to come here and really map out how things were going to work out and above aesthetics comfort really matters I'll say this again I've said it multiple times but it's something that it seems some people really don't think about. It's the comfort of walking on a staircase. I've talked about how leisurely it feels sometimes when I go up some of these steps and some of these projects. And honestly, that has come down to having a lead designer who truly understands his work, truly has a passion for it, and really takes the time to get to know the client so that every single thing really works for them in the long run and not just now. You know we like working with grills and getting different designs, but this is something quite unique. This is pure concrete. It is concrete, it is so solid, and to get it to be this perfect, like you can follow me and just see the motion as you're walking up these stairs, it really does twist and turn. It is a spiral staircase, so getting it right really matters. The last thing you wanna do is try to accomplish something something that is so dramatic and just do piss poor work when you actually come to executing it. This top floor has really come a long way. It feels massive and that's only because, again, Go and watch the previous video, you will know exactly what was on this wall. You'll know, I don't even have to tell you. And if you don't know, that's a sign for you to go back and watch that video so you know exactly what was there. It feels so massive and this is actually the family lounge. So of course having a large space again is very important. I've explained we're not thinking of two, three people here. We're thinking of a large group of people who might want to spend the night in the compound. So. You want to create spaces where everyone can come sit together, enjoy a good show, or just chat. You know, we always say like family rooms, you'll come and silently sit there and watch a TV show, but no, you're not, you're not gonna do that. Sometimes you just wanna interact in a totally different space than maybe the formal living room that we have downstairs. So this will be more chill, more relaxed, watch whatever you're doing, have your snacks, fully be in it. But there's something much bigger planned here. And this is where I'm going to take the opportunity to talk about how innovative fine urban construction and interiors truly is. We are always looking for the new thing. So this area right over here, we were thinking this is such a great opportunity to showcase something new that the client can really appreciate. So instead of doing a classic, beautiful, incredible gypsum design, we want to do something totally new, different and next level. We will be having wood paneling on the ceiling. We want to introduce designs that will never go out of style. So when it's done right, which I'm telling you guys, I am so confident that fine urban construction and interiors will do a marvelous job. It's going to be so mind blowing, so unique, and every single person who walks in here will be wowed and they will want that in their houses and that will make us trendsetters. And next year, everyone will want the wood pan paneling ceiling but you will see how that will turn out. It's going to be incredible. And of course, to finish it, we are going to include a massive chandelier that's going to be gorgeous. And you know those two things really play into each other. You can't just put any chandelier. So we wait and see what kind of chandelier will be picked to go with that wood paneling. Now the thing I want to point out while we're up here, you might notice that we have a tiny little camera on that far end. And that is because we want to be accountable 
for every single thing that we do. I've mentioned that the client of this property did not even meet us. They just trusted us to do the work. And some of you might wonder, like, you have projects all over the place. You've seen a day in the life. If you haven't seen a day in the life of an interior designer, go watch that video to understand just how much work can be done in one weekend during a pandemic. Let's keep that in mind. Everything that we do is during a pandemic. You might wonder how are we keeping track of everything and the progress and making sure everyone's doing their job correctly because one human cannot be everywhere at once and that's because the first thing we prioritize when we come to a site is installing CCTV. That way, the CEO of the company, Mr. Kriyafe Snyagaka, can really watch, be it in his office, he has screens where he can monitor every site. Right now, we are in Yala, we have projects in Kisi, we have so many going on in Nairobi. He has access to all those CCTVs and he can keep watch. That way, if you are in the diaspora, we're working on your project and you call up and you're like, hey, how's the progress going? Or why did this happen? Or something, any question? We're able to really answer it because we always have that um, information available to us and making sure that we're on top of everything because every detail really does matter and yeah I guess if any of you were wondering that's how we're able to run such a massive massive company and make sure that every detail is perfection now for the rooms we really did want to keep things very minimalist and that's not to say boring there is a conflation of I've seen um, Kim Kardashian's house. We've all seen how clinical it feels and how it just seems so boring. And there's some people who think that when you say minimalist, you're talking about exactly that. And that's not what we mean. We just want to keep things simple and clean and precise. And that's what we've done for these bedrooms. It's really exemplified when you look up at the ceiling. The gypsum designs have been, have been kept very simple, very straightforward, still very eye-catching, but it's nothing that's just doing too much or that is too attention-grabbing. Now, I want to give you guys a sneak peek in here. If you look at all the bathrooms, we've already started doing some tiling. I don't wanna give too much away. You guys are not even supposed to be seeing things, so don't tell anybody I showed you this. We have the tiles up on the wall. I'll be showing you later once we actually have some more on the floor and we have the fittings there. It's going to be incredible. So let's go, let's go, let's go. let's head on over to the master bedroom which is right across again if you've been watching me for any length of time you know this part really excites me and voila we are in the master bedroom follow me join me over on this side oh my gosh this room this room i don't think i'll ever get tired of it i will never get tired of seeing this room this is going to be yet another stop where i tell you guys go back and watch the previous videos because I've talked about what transformation we've done here. There was structural work to make sure that we're able to fit a bed right here. I'm not gonna go into too much detail about that because guys, by now you know. If there's something I'm not mentioning, I've mentioned it before and I want you guys to really follow the journey. That's the only reason I insist. I want you guys to be in this with me. I want you to appreciate every single step that we do just to get a very good idea of why you or your loved one or your friend or anyone you know should feel so confident to contact us at any point because you know we'll deliver and better yet we'll be able to explain every single reason why we've put things where we put them because sometimes people just like putting embellishments with no good reason but we are able to actually tell you why exactly we do what we do so in this room the major change i can talk about right now is the gypsum again another incredible gypsum i've talked about the thought process behind the gypsum designs that we do and it's no different here but the only thing i could say is a bit different is you can see that there's two very distinct sections with fine oven construction and interiors sometimes we tend to do things like that just to highlight certain parts as a different part of the room you're not going to put up walls you will play around with area rugs but you can also play around with gypsum designs to highlight certain sections so we'll see once the layout is done it will make 
so much sense why it was intentional to have a totally different type of design on that end of the room. So what's the vision? This room is going to accommodate a really nice size bed. There's going to be cabinetry, there'll be a TV wall, but also when you have a room this large and you have the opportunity, always create an area to lounge and relax and get away from, not get away from everything, why am I lying? <laughs> and just, just have a section within the room where you can sit down, have your morning coffee if you want. Just sit here, your kids might already be outside or you know, nephews or grandchildren might already be outside and you do still have room here where you could look outside and fully have a great view of what's going on in that incredible backyard that we're currently working on. But we went one step further. We have an incre incredible room, we've created all these spaces, but again, you have to live the big life. The people who build these houses have worked for years, they've worked so hard to be able to afford to build a house of this magnitude. So you really do want to give them the best experience. You want them to feel, hey, yes, yes, I deserve this. I worked so hard, I built this house. Let me enjoy it to the fullest. So, over here we have a walk-in. Of course, that's not what I'm talking about when I'm referring to super luxury, but that is a luxury. Honestly, if you're able to have a walk-in, I envy you because I have a very small wardrobe where I stuff all my stuff. If I had a walk-in, it would just be incredible. But another sneak peek before I show you the major part is the bathroom. Again, don't tell anybody that I showed you this room, but look at the tiles. That's so incredible. The things are just coming into shape. You can get a sneak peek. Okay, I think that's it for this room. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Now let's go to the major part then. If anybody ever asks you what the epitome of a luxurious master bedroom setup is, just show them a picture of this property at this stage or even when it's finished because Jesus Christ, this is my favorite thing about this entire property. The idea of having a private lounge for the master bedroom, it is just the tip top of design and luxury because there are so many things we want to use for this space. It's not just going to be lounging and relaxing. You can come up here. It's also going to be a gym. So we're going to have equipment all over the place, work out, get that sweat in. And then once you're done and you want to relax, here we have a jacuzzi with easy steps. I've talked about how important it is to know your client. I'll say this again. This is a house that is supposed to last for a very long time. Our clients want to live here for the long run. Their kids are going to be here, grandkids. So we want to make sure that everything is easy for the client to access. So we're not going to give them a jacuzzi and then make it so difficult for them to access. The steps have been carefully considered, just like all the other steps in this house, carefully considered so that it's super easy for them to get up here and go into the jacuzzi that will be here. And I wanna bring up another point, which is there are a lot of people out there. You might actually be one of the people watching who are like, what? Oh my God, I wanna do that, but let me wait until I save this amount of money and then I'll just do the entire project. That, that is not necessarily the best approach. This is the time to invest. Do it now, stop postponing. We have shown you all that we can do. You can have full trust in us. We have showcased all the different types of clients that we have, and this is the time to invest. Get in contact with us. What we can do with you is pay as we go, you know? Whatever amount you have, let's start the project. When you get in the next batch, we'll continue the project and we can work step to step because if you're sitting there and you're thinking, I'll save up this amount and then do the project, I guarantee you that has happened like several times where you're like, oh yeah, I'm saving, I'm saving, and then something comes up and that money is totally diverted. So start now, this is the time to invest. We hope that you have confidence enough in us to contact us and we'll make sure that we do stellar work. So apart from those major features like having the jacuzzi and having this be a gym area, there's some crucial things that will make this area feel really complete. Right now it's fully open, you know, the sky is right above us. If it starts raining right now, we're definitely getting rained on but we are going to do some finishing touches, which will include a very interesting thing on this end, especially because we're going to have an L-shaped window. We have a 360 degree 
view. Whatever side you're looking at, you're either looking at the front yard, you're either looking at the side of the house or you're looking at the backyard. So you have an amazing view all around. And obviously we have a very big wall here, which will have a TV wall. For me, thinking of the gym and also having the TV wall, it just makes it more enjoyable. If you're bored of looking at the scenery, which I don't understand how anyone could get bored of this scenery, you could have your favorite uh, YouTuber or uh, fitness person on the screen working, uh, working out alongside them and just feeling that motivation. So that's such a great idea. And of course, the biggest thing, as I said, if it started raining right now, we would get rained on is having a covering over the top so that this area is protected to, from some of those elements. It is going to be extended directly from the main structure over just to give that extra coverage. I've mentioned that this project had a lot of crooked walls. Some entrances didn't make sense, so we closed off some spaces, opened up others. And what we did for this was make it a bit smaller because it just felt unnecessarily big. So we just pushed it in a little bit. We still have enough space to walk out into this huge balcony. And I think the position of it is so perfect. I really enjoy these projects that are done in areas that have so much nature, so much greenery, and the fact that the person had the foresight to think, okay, let me create a balcony so someone could come outside and really have a full view of the compound. Amazing, because every single time I walk out here, it's just an experience. What we're going to have is a pool house, a gazebo, and now the main pool. And it's not just gonna be any pool. We're going to have a sunken area where you can get in before you go into the pool. It's going to be incredible fully decked out, of course. We're going to do the most beautiful gazebo you've ever seen in the entire Africa. Hold me to that. Fine oven construction and interiors is going to knock it out of the park. That entire area is going to be so gorgeous because there's so many other features that we want to do in the front yard, just so it's not plain and boring, and we want to make it very, very functional. So the entrance, if you remember, the entrance initially was on the other end. We used to come in this way, but now that we're going to have the pool, the pool house, the gazebo, all that fancy stuff, all that amazing stuff, can I just take a moment to be like, sometimes I feel so jealous because I come here and I talk about these amazing houses and I get to see them come to life and really enjoy the process, but then I have to leave and go to my house where I won't have a pool or the greatest gazebo anyone has ever seen. But anyway, with that said, we've moved the gate to this area and we're going to play around with Cabro. Y'all know we like to make dynamic designs with our Cabro. Choose the best. We always choose the best. As much as everything is beautiful, we also make sure that the quality is very, very high. Again, it's something that has to last for years. This is a retirement home. We're going to include a roundabout. That is not just for the fact that it's going to look really, really cool and it's going to make the landscape look amazing, but it's for function. We want the drive to uh, coming into the property to be way easier and to be very, very streamlined. So we are going to have a roundabout that will have a path that leads all the way to the other side of the property where we are building an area where a client can park their cars. Of course, with a roundabout, you don't just have one way. We are going to create other paths to lead to different parts of the property. We have come to the end of this incredible tour. Honestly, walking through these mansions really does a number in your legs. It's quite the workout, but I am more than happy to do it. If you enjoyed this tour and you want to see more things like this or catch up, go to our YouTube channel, subscribe, watch all the videos, leave all your lovely comments. I really do like watching and hearing your ideas. Make sure you share. I want you guys to share with your loved ones. If you know anyone who's looking for someone to do construction or interiors, share this video with them and make sure you turn on your notification bells because that's the only way you'll know every single time that we post a new video. But if maybe YouTube's not your thing and you're looking for another way to get our content, we're on all other social media platforms. Find us on Facebook, we're on Twitter, we are now on TikTok, and of course, we're also on Instagram, all at Fine Evan Interiors. My name is Cynthia Shoya from Fine Evan Interiors, and I'll see you guys in the next video.